Hello, today we are going to learn how to divide a given circle into 11 equal parts. So the first step is to draw a vertical diameter in the given circle and the extremities of this diameter we will call A and P as can be seen here on the screen. The next step is to draw a perpendicular horizontal diameter and we will call the extremities of this one Q and R as can be seen here. So to continue, the next step, setting the compass to the length of the given radius OR and setting the compass on the point P, we will scribe an arc to the left until it cuts the circumference at a new point, which we will call S. So now, using the same method and centering the compass on point Q, with the same radius, we will scribe an arc to the left until it cuts the circumference at a new point, which we will call T. And now, setting our compass on the point S and with a new radius ST, we are going to scribe an arc to the right until it cuts the vertical diameter at a new point, which we will call point U. And now the straight line distance between T and U is going to be the distance of the 11 divisions that we want to put onto the circumference. So now setting our compass to the length TU, we're going to transport it onto the circumference starting with point A. Setting our compass on point A, we scribe our first arc, as can be seen here. And now we continue setting the compass on our previously scribed arc. We get our next vertex. Here we have to be careful to be accurate and work with precision to try to center the compass exactly on each arc to maintain our precision and not to lose any accuracy. So here we go, we continue this process marking our 11 vertices around the circumference, as can be seen here. So now we have our ninth vertices. And again, if we have been working with precision and accuracy, our final S arc should cut point A exactly, as can be seen here. So the final step is to name the final 11 divisions from A to K, as can be seen here. And if you join these points, A to B, B to C, D to E, F to G, H to I, J to K, which I have done with a red line, you will get the regular hendecagon or 11-sided polygon inscribed in the given circle. And also, joining these 11 points to the center point O with blue lines, we will get 11 equal divisions or circular sectors, which you can see here on the screen. I hope this video has helped you. Please press like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until the next time, thank you.